It's, it's 10 p.m. on the East Coast and other times that you could look up if you have the clock app on your phone to watch the clock. And I am in studio. Don't do that. <laughs> Sorry, don't do testing. don't don't be doing that. It's not funny and not fun. <laughs> it's the best show. I'm your guest host, Tim Heidecker, sitting in for the great Tom Sharpling, who will be hosting Office Hours Live on Thursday morning, the old switcheroo. Crazy. And I'm in studio with I can't I oh you got your names up there. John Cl O'Doherty. <laughs> John Clardy. <laughs> John Early. <laughs> Unbelievable, and also Claudia O'Doherty <gasps> from Australia. That's right, all the way live from, from Australia. Flew, flew in, in for this. For the show. Un when did you get in? Expensive. Um, Don't get near the mic. By by all means, no one wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell because John turned all my one, dials. Two, three. I oh, asked you guys to come in at uh, one p.m. today for a sound check. We couldn't though. We, we're busy. Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the cursing. Three, two, one. <laughs> one. Okay. Um, okay. Hi. Hi. I thought, well, let, let me, uh, did you tell John? I told you. Yes. Yeah. I and I, that was weird. I, <laughs> I didn't get a text. I, well, I thought about it. I didn't want to scare you away. You're not a beetle head. <laughs> but, you know, not in any sort of deliberate way. Okay. I understand. You have a, you had a different upbringing. I, <laughs> I just didn't come by it naturally. Well, it's going to come up. How could yeah. you? How could you? You have a They're general awareness. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I learned Can you a lot name today. them? Yes. <laughs> what do you have? I'm doing the 20 worst. No, no. Or Can just, you name the you saw... four Beatles? <laughs> John, Paul, George, Ringo. And of course, if we're really being completists about it, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how I knew that? Yeah. Because Claudia said it I gave him a crash course in the car. Okay. Like literally like rudiment. But you didn't we, crash, did you? No, thank goodness. That's funny. I thought, you know what we could do? This is another idea I had today. We could do improv. I prefer <laughs> if we did do improv. Do yeah. you love that idea? Yeah. That was my biggest fear was that we would come in and not realize that this was a show where you did characters. Mm. I Oh, really? Well, I, I am a character. I know you yes. know that. And you are too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're yeah. And I so maybe if people want to call in, give us uh prompts. That is <laughs> improv work. Can you imagine? Can you imagine people still do improv? They really do. I yeah. know people love it. Were you did you come up in the improv scene? Not really. No. No. And you, Claudia? I did it for like six weeks at college, and then I was like, I hate this. <laughs> yeah. I hate <laughs> So go away People and write. Watch it. Go away and write. Come up with ideas. Work on it. Then present to me. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay. Well, one fear I have mm. Tell is us. let's talk about our fears. Mm. Mm. Um, we are having dinner after this. Yes. Are we yeah. going to blow our load on the air and then sit oh. at dinner? And You're worried. <laughs> I feel like with us three, it's, it's just gonna, always regenerating. It's true. Yeah. And din we will keep our sh our s talking to mm. dinner. We will have not I cursed. No. Okay. Okay. No, I'm just saying we like if we're gonna have dinner, that's when we can kind of air our grievances exactly. about our colleagues yes. and, and what we don't <laughs> yeah. like we won't about say things. Anything mean now? No. Yeah. Only um, kind. Although, what have you said about the Beatles? What are the oh? So what do we? We the list is just getting okay, started. And I should say, Claudia, you are a beetle freak. I'm a beetle freak. I grew up as a beetle freak, so I do have a list. But I was like... Well, do you want to throw one on the list right now and see if it's on the list already? Yeah, of course. Savoy truffle. I don't like it. Dum, 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 dum. But wait. Is uh, it on the list? <laughs> Cream tangerine. Exactly. Montalemon. Coconut fudge really blows down those blues. That sucks. <laughs> You know what this is about? No. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what we could do is bring up sa the nope. savory truffle lyrics without even singing them. I don't. Are you allowed to play the music on this show? We prefer not to. We've had a show taken down because of people. Especially okay. the. All right, really? but I'm just going to read these to you, John, yeah. and you get your first impression. Uh, oh. cr cream tangerine Montelimon, a ginger sling with a pineapple heart, coffee dessert. Yes, you know it's good news. <laughs> But you'll have to have them all pulled out after the Savoy, Savoy truffle. Yeah. What do you think they're getting pulled out? 
Like, are they making a list of like the greatest desserts or something? Pretty much. And no, you know who it's about, right? No. It's about Clappy himself. Oh. And whoa. his love of desserts. He had a sweet tooth until he found the H. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the most delicious dessert. Cool possible. cherry cream and a nice apple tart. I feel your taste all the time we're apart. Whoa. Coconut fudge really blows down those blues. Oh, so My favorite go. line. About My tang. favorite line. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. But you'll all, you'll have to have them all pulled out. What would you have pulled out if you're eating sweets? He's giving you a hint. Teeth. Yeah. He's <laughs> saying you're going to have to have your teeth pulled out. If yeah. You, if you keep eating all got those it, sweets. Got it, got it, got it. He's begging his friend to stop eating so many desserts. All right. I a think cool Savoy, 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 Savoy. Savoy. But isn't it savory? Nope. No. Oh, that would be weird. <laughs> savory truffles. That would be like a, a like bread meat. pudding. Yeah. yeah. Savoy. So you think it's the meaning is is it's literal? Well, yeah. it's like a little. Sweet I think it little, kind of is. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there's a sexual innuendo. Okay, happening. sorry, John. you know me, <laughs> horny, <Yeah>. double <laughs> entendre. Uh, definitely, Savoy truffle no. goes on the I'm list. I'm so excited it went on the list, and don't pass me by. But okay, so what are the Ringo rules? Uh, it's all fair game. Because. He's getting on the list. <laughs> well, he already is. There's a list so far. Don't pass me yeah, by he's... is number five. Being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. I actually think Don't Pass Me By is one of Ringo's better songs. I think he's got many worse, but really? I'm really excited to get into this. Okay, good. See, this is how rudimentary I am. Like, so so they would, what was the division of labor? Like, like <laughs> did they like, did, were they like, you can do a few songs where you sing lead? Yeah. Yeah. But but I, I was asking Claudia this in the car. Is it also like, and you write it? Or is it like, I wrote this. Do you want to sing lead? Like, well, by I... the end there, Ringo started saying, well, I can do this. Yeah. And he would bring terrible songs. And they'd yeah. be mean to him about them. Oh, wow. But fair enough. Yeah. Because they're not good. Yeah. And some, often they'd give him covers and he'd just ruin songs. Oh, wow. Oh, like what? Well, boys, the Shirelle song. Yeah, yeah, boys. <laughs> <laughs> now, John. No idea. This is a song where. Act the sing- naturally. That's a good song. No? Yeah, but like. His version of it. Ringo's song? version is not the best version of that what? song. Okay. He's always doing. Country- you come, you're coming in hot. Well, I'm. In got, a good, I'm happy. I've got Are a you lo- happy? I'm, I'm having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot. I've got a lot of opinions about it. You just, lo- John. If you just want to watch yourself on the monitor, that's fine. But it's with so me. hard because I just see myself in profile. It does cut away from us whenever we look at the yeah. screen, which sucks. All so. right. So you want to just put the Ringo songs on there? Yeah. Okay. Get it over with. You can't put uh, with a little help, my friends. No, I, think that's I don't a great want song. to. That's, that's a his, Ringo. Song? That's his yeah. best. Wow. I would say that's his best, right? I think yeah. so. But Leonard McCartney uh, wrote it. So yeah, that's why it's but good. Yeah. yeah, but I want to be clear. I'm turning to did. consult the list. Sorry, keep going. Um, <laughs> and we have Obladi Obladot number four that needs to be updated there. As yeah, well. Obladi Obladot. That's fair. Um, let's get boys up there at I don't know what seven. Seven boys. Great. But um, wait, Savoy Truffle, where is that? Oh, we haven't put that up yet either. Savoy Truffle. You want to go real high with it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you came in real hot. I, yeah, I feel one? hot about it. Let, no, I would I say like the like, horns on that song. It's but... got some good stuff about it, but there's lots of other stuff stinks. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I would say probably it's like six. Number six. six. Do you guys want to? <laughs> do you guys want to <laughs> wait? Like, are you like locked and loaded with your least favorite of all time? I have not given it much thought. And I'm waiting to just see how it goes. Okay, okay. I didn't do much. If you did work on this, I'm I happy. thought about it. Good. I was very busy today I'm shooting also... TV shows. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm also ready to cross-reference with the list from Enemy Vulture. <laughs> and there's one other. Is a list a list exists? I did okay. uh, earlier today. I googled like unbelievable. Every Look at Beatles you. song ranked. Yeah. Wow. I like to do my homework, and Mr. High Tech. I also love your homage to. <laughs> I love your homage to Great Radio with your Dr. Demento shirt. If didn't you're just even, listening. Didn't even think about that? Didn't well, didn't even um I don't even know Dr. Demento. This was gifted to me. Are you given him. clothes to wear and told what to wear <laughs> by your stylist? <laughs> Are you? Yeah. All right, I have to look up who the, the Beatles. Uh, so, so the Ringo songs are what? Matchbox? 
Oh yeah, Matchbox sucks as well. All like, right. but also it's so covers are allowed. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're letting okay, covers. Matchbox in. is on the list one hundred percent. Is Yellow out. Submarine on the list? I think so. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Octopus's <laughs> Garden is on the list. Wow. Do you not Sorry, think it's guys, on the list? We need numbers too. Tell us where they all sit. All right. Okay, but can they ch the numbers change? Because I think as this conversation evolves, the numbers, the rankings. This is going to start I, I getting it... pretty mean. Uh, honey, don't. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Can you tell me when you when you name a song? Can you tell me who wrote it? And who <laughs> yeah. Sings so, the... honey, don't is a cover. Ringo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Matchbox is a cover. Ringo. Ringo. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you hear the new Revolver and the 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 um, genesis of yellow submarine no what did what is it it's fascinating because it started as a very sad john song right where he was just on the guitar singing in the town where i was born all i was alone i was alone have you heard that jason yeah it's, it's very cool sad. it's like That's... really sad and, and i imagine I like, a you, way... know, you make it a happy song actually <laughs> give it to me make it a cartoon <laughs> I think it would be a pretty good cartoon. Because why did they keep giving Ringo these like aquatic, like underwater songs? They wanted to drown him. I think that's what's going dreams on. Dreams of drowning him. Um, all right, so let's just fill the list with the Ringo songs. Okay, I mean, so we've God got Matchbox. What number but you want? You can Matchbox take them off later. We can always take them off. Yeah. Yeah. So you want Matchbox uh, twelve? Matchbox twelve. Yeah, Matchbox okay. twenty. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Well, no, okay. let's do that. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's great. That Somehow really that's great. the yep. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense except it's fun. Uh, and does, then honey don't you want to do 19 on that? Honey don't. Yeah. Okay. Honey don't. Do you like that? If you if I just said I have a new song for you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and it goes, honey that. don't, you'd be like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's like, cool. hey, good looking. <laughs> does yeah. John does uh Ringo have any songs on their first album? Uh please please me. I'm pretty sure he does. I'm pretty sure you're wrong. Oh. Wow. Damn. Ouch. I don't think he, boys, boys. Yeah, it's boys. I'm pretty sure. Sometimes I'm a girl just needs one. <laughs> it is a boys. song. Boys. It is a weird song because it's a girl group song yeah. that Ringo sings about wanting boys. Mm. Wow. And well, here's where I come in. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> As the resident queen. <laughs> I'm gonna, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> It's very cool. It's very passe to be gay. That could be ah! my that could be my new phrase, right? Yeah, you should. Yeah. Like, why would we all I get excited that. about oh we're talking about gay things? It's all I no. have, Tim. I know. Come on. You can't write you can't rest on those laurels anymore. We need <sighs> more from you. I know. Lots of the Beatles were gay. Don't even joke. John they, was probably John was bisexual. Probably absolutely That's bisexual. Confirmed or like oh, you know, he tried to fuck. Full. You didn't. Full, I don't. Full, I didn't hear the last full, consonant. Full. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> um, all right. We got to take a call. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's what this show is all about. Close. Two oh one eight nine, two oh one. Is that Bob Dylan? Yeah. <laughs> two oh one nine eight nine. Oh oh one two. Don't say their number. Oh, that's this number. <laughs> Who's I thought number? you were saying a oh. the caller's number. <laughs> <laughs> Best show. Hi, Tim. This is Veronica from Philadelphia. Veronica, right? Do you suppose I'm the days named are after that song? You are. I have a sister named Allison who's also wow. named after wow. Elvis I Costello. Oh, it's Elvis Costello. <laughs> and that, and guess who co-wrote uh, Veronica? I I know it was Paul McCartney. I told you to guess, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be better next time. Okay. Well, do you have a do you have a song to uh, put on the list, or do you want to talk about something I else? I do. So um, I feel like we sort of brushed over "Please Please Me" because it doesn't have any Ringo songs. Mm -hmm. But I would really like to call out. Um, I saw her standing there. Because it starts off with, uh, she was just 17. Oh, and you know, know what, what I, I mean. mean. And I, you know what? I, um, 
I do know what he means, but I don't, I'd rather not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, yeah. you know, the guy, the lads. They the, were lads. Were they were like 19. They were mere lads. They were mere lads. When they wrote that, he yeah. was probably 18, 19. I'm giving he him a was, pass on that. He was 15 when he wrote it. Was he? No. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I, I don't particularly love that song anyways. I no. think it, it, it's uh just a basic blue, like yeah. rock blues song. Um I, but it is I never dance with another. Ooh. That's fun. That is fun. And it is the song that kicks off the whole thing. Totally. It gets everyone going. I think it's Denied. it doesn't deserve to be on the list. No. Sorry. In fact, it's getting a number one in the bus meter <laughs> song. <laughs> no, I mean, I understand. Um, I do just want to say somebody's going to nominate Rocky Raccoon, and I want to stand up for that song because I think it's really, really funny that Paul McCartney starts out with that southern accent. And yeah, he somewhere in the back minds of South Dakota, they live the young boy named Rocky Raccoon. They do a lot of character work in their songs. Well, I read this little article about how if you look at the White Album as like a demented children's album, it really makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It's, listen to the song titles. You know, it was uh, my favorite album as a little kid. So like, I kind of get that. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of duds on it though. But Savoy Truffle. <laughs> oh, definitely. Piggies? Are we putting piggies on the list? Oh, I think. Yeah, everywhere, probably. listen to this. Oh, everywhere you know there's Can lots of piggies. piggies? piggies yes. It's a deeply unpleasant song. To it is. To. Yeah, it's not fun. I mean, because it's like, you're going to always skip Like, piggies. I get that it's political commentary, <laughs> but it's just like, it just is grating and it's not fun to hear. Yeah, I don't, you're not looking to hear political commentary. You want to rock out. What's the political commentary? Oh, I don't about, know. like, Cops, you know, Cops oh, piggies. piggies, of course. Yeah, mm. man. You're not, you're not uh, pro cop, are you? I'm pretty staunchly pro cop. Okay. 